because the devotee is thinking this is my property and I'm giving it to you instead of thinking it's your property. Is there anything that it is your property? Is this body is your property? Without any shaman, without notice, that will come and take it. And then so many eagles will quarrel for your this way. <laughs> and sometimes so many dogs will come and they will quarrel for oh, this body is mine. This body is And they quarrel. Sometimes jackals and dogs will call for that. And sometimes fire will tell, oh, this property is mine, I should take it. And it will. Sometimes bon Napoleon Bonaparte, he wants to oh, be controller of emperor of the whole world. And when he was in prison, then his body was of whom? The Mitra Rashtra. Allied, uh, uh, allied nations. Settled that all. Oh, this is now in the our country. And they drowned it in the ocean. But this body is whose property? Oh, everything is of Krishna. Your body is not yours. Your wife is not your wife. Even your body is not of yours. So he is telling that, oh, this is abstract. There is nothing that we possess and we can offer to Krishna. It is only a false ego. But for beginning, it is very healthy. For beginners, those who don't know anything, they don't know obesity of this devotion. For them, it is. Oh, whatever take, oh, please offer and then take. But if they know that everything, then I am certain. All property, everything is of Krishna, and by that, by that, his property, I am certain. This So it is extra. Then, then what? Raramananda told. Then Mahaprabhu told, it is Bahiya. Aage kaha, Raya kahe so dharma tyag ei sarvasat dhasar. To give up one's occupational duties in the Varn Ashram is the essence of perfection. Oh, you should explain more. Sarva dharmaan tadityajya maame kam sharanam raja aham tvam sarva pape vyo moksha gishyami ma shuchaha. Krishna says, abandon all ideas of worldly dharma and just surrender unto me. Surrender one-pointedly unto me. Don't have any fear that sin will come as a result of neglecting your worldly duties. I will surely protect you. This is the last slok of Gita. No? It can be told that this is the sense of all Gita. But Chaitanya Mahaprabhu at once told, without any moment delay, Yo Bhajyagya Kaha, this is external. Go on, go on. Why he rejected? Can you tell something about this? Why he rejected? Why, how class of? Sarvadharman Pattajya. Yeah, Sarvadharman means? Yeah, Sarvadharman means? Oh. Where is there? Is that what? He's outside. He must be outside all. Backside, backside. He will be outside or backside. <laughs> His nature. Yeah. Oh. All kinds of religion pertaining to one's uh, relating to body, for example, duties for family, duties for uh, nation. Not only this. Body Hinduism, mind. Buddhism, Christianity. All these are not dharma actually, not swadharma, not dharma of soul, but we think that all are dharma. Hmm? So all these things, Hinduism, Christianity, Buddhism, Jainism, Communism, Impersonalism, Mayaism, all are of 
related to this body or mind. And they are metal. metal. So, quickly, there is no religion, nothing in this. Sarva Dharma And then, Maam Ekam Sarnam Bhaja. What? Maam Ekam Sarnam Bhaja? You should surrender only to me. What is this? Sarnam. This is high class of thing in Gita. And this is called that. In Gita, like Gita is like a golden plate. And this is Loki like a diamond in golden plate. Very high class. But Chaitanya Mahaprabhu at once rejected. Oh, you by the way. It is expert. Why? Can you tell? Why? Well, can you? Because he's saying to give up the negative injunction, but included there is not the positive injunction to serve. What is told? He is saying that it is said that we should give up and we should surrender. But what is surrender? In surrender, there is no active engagement. It is only to say, I should surrender. Then what? What shall we do next? Uh, so nothing is there. So far so, nothing is here. Only to give up worldly things. Hmm? Can you more explain? Also, it's, it's a business relationship with Krishna that if I surrender to you, then you'll relieve me of all my sinful reactions. Yes. So the devotee wants liberation. So it's business. He only, only once uh, he is fearing, but he does not want to serve Krishna in any mood. If he is not serving that, everything is like zero. Even not platform for bhakti is here. So it is door of saranagati is door of what is saranagati? There are six kinds of sharanagati. Mm. To accept everything... Try right to remember this sharanagati. And if you have not done sharanagati, then your platform is not made. And bhakti cannot come. Mm. Any... Um, any chaya... Shadow. Shadow of bhakti may come. Not really. So try to make first sharanagati. Go on. Anakul Yascha Sankalpa, to accept everything favorable for Krishna's service. And Pratikulya Vivarjanam, to reject everything that's not favorable for Krishna's Yet service. Guru is somewhat un unfavorable. First would be good. As in the case... He is always criticizing others. He is not chanting, remembering. But he orders that I use so chant. But himself he not never chant. He has no love and affection for devotee or Krishna. Making money from this bhakti, then what should we do? Reject. Reject. At once, without delay, X second. Guru Rukhya Valitta Sakarja Karja Majana Tautpata Pratipanna Sapadite Gaudi Diyate. So what is favorable for bhakti? We must. Accept. Accept. And what is unfavorable? At once, don't delay. Like poison. If there is poison in this finger, oh. Then cut down. Don't do it. Otherwise hold. Whole body will get in and, and if hold this hand, then what to do? Cut the hand. Otherwise it come, poison here and will die. So like this. Hmm. Then <coughs> Mahaprabhu rejected this. Because there is no religion of of Atma. So he did. Then, Prabhu kahe, iho bhaagya, ka aage kaha, ra kahe, gyan mishra bhakti sadhrasa. After hearing Ramananda Rai speak in this way, Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, Go ahead and say something more. Ramananda Rai then replied, Devotional service mixed with empiric knowledge is the essence of perfection. And he read a slok. He gave an example of this issue. What? Brahma Bhuta Prasannatma Nasochati Nakanchati Samasarveshu Bhuteshu Mad Bhaktim Very good. 
of Gita. Hmm? Highly praised. Hmm? What is the meaning? Ramananda continued, according to Bhagavad Gita, one who is thus transcendentally situated at once realizes the Supreme Brahman and becomes fully joyful. He never laments nor desires to have anything. He is equally disposed to every living entity. In that state, he attains pure devotional service unto me. Brahma Bhuta. There are six qualities. If they have been gained, then he is Brahma Bhuta. He is established in Brahma. Always reminding of Brahma. Always situated in Brahma. He never wants any worldly things. Never any desire, no desire at all. Either transcendental desire or nothing. never, nothing. Nothing he has desired. He is like Jīva. But samasarveshu bhūteshu. If something, problem coming from anyone and unfavorable or unfavorable, to both he is equal. He never thinks that he is an enemy and he is my friend. Never. He, what he thinks? Oh, it has come from my past birth reactions. So never. And sarputesu. And never upset. Always happy. This is high class of his case. Hmm? And then madbhakti param parabhakti loves. Still now he is not. He has not received parabhakti. Parabhakti means prema bhakti. But he may receive if he associates with high class of arvasi, premi bhakti. Otherwise, no. There are two kinds of Brahma Bhuta. Hmm? 